Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hanger. Um, I hope you have been having some fun. Today I've got a video about a certain little S8R. Had a little issue with binding, but today we're going to get this little puppy and we're going to flash it. Let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. We have here our FR Sky S8R. Now, if you look on the forums, there's uh, forums and YouTube. There's a lot of people that have trouble with binding this. Um, I came across this myself. It wouldn't bind. Um, so basically, I had a little chat with one of our fellas at a club called Richard. Big shout out to Richard. And through process of elimination of what I've done and what I tried to do, we um, we got through it. And I tried something he suggested. And it works. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, we have got the SHR that we're going to um, flash before we uh, well, update the firmware. I should stop calling it flash, but it is flashing the firmware, but updating the firmware um, before we do anything. Now, I'm a part of Europe, and that's the phone, of course. So, it's the size of the phone, hang on. Okay, why is it that everyone phones me when I'm, when I'm doing a video? So... <laughs> Anyway, so this is the S8R. You can get the S6R that uh, people are also having problems with. And I'm having problems with uh, focusing on this puppy. There we go. Silly thing. Um, right, so all we're going to be uh, interested in at the moment is the smart port. Um, so I'm going to be doing a screenshot on the PC and trying to show you how we're connecting it on here as well. Um, <laughs> which is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So anyway... So what do we need else we need? Now, you can do this by your radio. I've seen a lot of people when they flash the firmware, they put it on their radio, uh, can they, they can, you can connect your smart port um, to the back of the radio. Most radios do have a little pins at the back which gives you the uh, uh, negative, positive and signal cable. And you can flash it out that way. Um, I prefer just to leave the radio alone. Um, you can get a PC software from FR Sky. So just use the PC, that's what it's made for. Um, the transmitter is made for flying. Yes, it is. Right, so what we're going to need, we're going to need an S port, an S port link, if I can do that without blinding you. And I, for some reason, my screen on my camera just wants to be upside down. There's probably a way of doing it, but anyway. You see that? It says S port um, air link. Now, basically, um, there is, if I can get that, maybe if I get that out of shot, that might want to be in focus. <laughs> there you go goes into the USB uh, when you put this in your uh, laptop or PC I'm using Windows 10 um, give it a couple of seconds it will find a driver for it I if you can't find a driver for it um, pass um, I do use um, a certain um, USB fixer which I'll put in the link as well which is uh, is basically I can't remember who makes it now off the top of my head um, but a lot of people use it when they're doing their quadcopters and stuff, or quads, or whatever you like to call them. It does stuff. So you've got two, uh, you've got two um, dip switches here. You've got one that, um, that I can't even remember what they're saying now. Um, let's put my goggles on. <laughs> here we go. One that's at the bottom here, it says upgrade and config. So you switch it either way. If you're in uh, upgrade, you put uh, the fly lead um, on the opposite side. Now, just to make note, you'll see it anyway, but I only does it. Is that when you, if you use um, the config, you flip it because it's it's that way round. I only made the mistake of just swapping it over and blowing the thing up. So it does say on there what's your minus and plus, negative and positive, and um, signal cable. So we want to upgrade. And on here it has USB, and if you flip it over, it says wireless um, or Bluetooth. Does it say wireless? It says wireless. Um, you can hook up your Bluetooth, um, uh, sorry, your app on your telephone. Um, to here which is really 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 cool and I think it does it by Bluetooth um, so if you're out in the field you can plug this into um, anything that has a USB most like portable chargers and or you know I've got a couple of things that uh, that I can plug in plug the battery in your uh, field battery uh, that you put into your planes and this will give uh, 5 volts which livens this up this plugs in this end will plug into your smart port straight like that we're not going to do it at the moment, but that will, that's how we power this up. So through through this, through the USB, it will power your S8R or your S6R, whatever you're using. So that's all we need, uh, basically. 
um, um, until we come to um, to putting it to, to binding it to to the radio. Now, before I begin, I did have an issue. I, I'm using my uh, FR Sky X10, which has the FR Sky OS, which I really like. Um, but I thought I would put OpenTX on it. Um, now I may not have clicked a ticked a box if you anyone that uses OpenTX, and I believe that I made my radio uh, not EU. Now there's two types out here. There's one in the EU, which I think I started talking about before on the phone. And if you're in out of the EU, EU, oh, the EU, get my teeth in, boy. EU, like um, the US or Australia or somewhere like that, um, then the, you use uh, it's called FCC, and if you're in the UK, it's called LBT. Now, most of the time, it should say on the side, which it does. It's, I don't know if you can just see that. It says EU LBT. And on the radio, it's got the same sort of sticker to say, yes, it's EU. Now, for some reason, I think that um, I, I didn't... I put OpenTX before I used this. This is going into one of my uh, planes that I'm building at the moment, the Cobra 2. And this is why that's kind of been on hold, because I wanted to get this done. Um, so anyway, I, I was reading up on OpenTX, and if you don't tick a box when you download the software I believe it, it does it non-European so and the way I found this um, which I'll show you in a minute which was uh, Richard's idea um, is why don't you try flashing this with the FCC firmware which you get in the folder as well when you download it which made this non-EU um, because of um, restrictions and laws and stuff you need to use the um, EU software in the EU for there is reasons um, I can't remember, and but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find out. Um, so anyway, and it, I could bind it; it worked. So when I see the people online uh, on Google, uh, uh, YouTube, sorry, uh, that had the same issue as I was, it just flashes red that it gets no signal. I'm wondering if basically you've got the wrong software, or firmware in there, should I say, firmware? Um, um, if you, you know, so the way to do it is to follow what I'm doing with flashing with the firmware, and if you think it's uh, it should be EU firmware, flash it with the FCC and see if you can bind it then. Because then you know that your radio is kicking out FCC, which is the a non-European. And then obviously you can start figuring out what you did. I think it's the latest OpenTX that I started reading afterwards, as you do. And it said something about if you're uh, in the EU, you need to tick a random box that says nothing about EU. It's uh, a random digits, letters that make no sense to man or beast. And someone's probably sitting back in OpenTX laughing their ass off. Anyway, so let's, um, I'm going to kind of um, hold it there. Um, and I'm going to set up my laptop and then I'm going to start recording, capturing on the laptop. This is going to be really fun. I need to get a, another little camera. I have got my run cam that I should really sort of hold over the top so you can see what I'm doing here. And then maybe the camera on me. But, you know, this is, I'm, I'm a noob at everything. But, uh, hey, if you don't try, you can't succeed. That's what I say. <laughs> let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's pause you for a second. Go make a cup of tea. Okay, so let's see if I can sync this up properly. So hopefully you will be looking at uh, my little uh, computer desktop um, and you'll be looking at a folder that uh, I've saved in my documents just called FR Sky. Uh, you can name it what you want, but I keep all my kind of stuff here. There's my OS backup when I put OpenTX. I have put the um, FR Sky OS back on the radio. Yeah, we'll, we'll work out that one. So the first thing you do then is if you want to... Um, to, to flash anything is go to the FR Sky website and um, on here somewhere it will have um, under receivers they're bringing out tons and tons of all this random crap that they want to put on this and no one else can use stuff which, which is kind of crazy but we're looking for the S8R and um, <laughs> well okay there's, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, transmitters out there receivers even and here we go, uh, we got the uh, no, uh, S6R and S8R. Now, if you if you click on the S8R or the S6R, whichever you, uh, you find, but in the software when you download, it does have both in there. Um, you go to the firmware and and you, um, it just says fix it. <laughs> Look, when using us to set like sensors, etc., and binding is not possible, so it's meant to have fixed all that, but there you go. So you download that. Um, and then obviously you go, if you want to go back, uh, if you're using the um, the S-Port Airlink, I will put all these links below anyway, because um, 
the FR Sky website is just so slow. Um, I don't know why. I think it's under. Some, I don't know where it's under now. I've forgotten where it's under. Well, it's, it's not a receiver, is it? And it's not a transmitter. It's a module. And I can't see. Maybe let's see if we can search. Oh God! But I'll find it and put the links down. I should have saved them, really, shouldn't I? Um, search results. Uh, search. So if we call um, S S port and uh, search. Um, yeah, OS port. Here we go. And let's go there. Accessories. Oh, it's in accessories. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, well I'll put the link down anyway. And um, what you need to download, um, if you're using any of these, there's a driver for XP78 and Vista, if, you, if you're crazy enough to use that. Um, and you, basically there's the free link tool, you can download that, but we're not going into that at the moment. The, what you want is the uh, FR Sky Update Sport. Sport mode gives it an extra gear. Top gear. Do miss that program. With, uh, with a couple of people that I like, but anyway, we're not talking about that. Okay, so once you've all downloaded that, I don't know to teach you how to download. I'm sure you do. You unzip it, and here is the file uh, for FR Sky Update Sport Revision 14. That's when you take unzip it, and if I double click on that, he says, I'm using my, um, not using my mouse, I'm using the trackpad, which I hate. Anyway, so that's the module there. Okay, we go back, and the firmware which I've put in here is uh, XXR, so it's something R, and it has got, see, the 6 and the 8 R in here. Now, if you go in here, you'll see what I'm on about. So the S8R LBT is the European version. If you're in Europe, you need to use this to flash your firmware. If you're not in Europe, you need the FCC. Um, simple as that really, it's, uh, it's, the, it's as hard as it gets. Okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to probably do this off camera, um, but I will show you quickly on camera because I've still got the camera rolling here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the, uh, into the my um, USB, making sure that I've got upgrade and I've got USB and I've got the, the, the uh, cable that's, that's plugged in. So let's stick it in. Um, as you can probably just see that in shot actually, so you've got the green and red light coming on. Um, it, give it a second if it's the first time you're using it because it will need to find the drivers. Okay, so back on the screen here, um, I need to go to my update tool and I double click on that and yes, I want to use it. <coughs> Excuse me. And it, it comes up with this really kind of retro kind of early programming stuff. Um, I like glamour, I like it all singing, all dancing, telling me what the weather is outside. Anyway, it should find your COM port. If not, try and, um, um, and see if it's got a couple, if you've got a couple of things going on. But once it's the, you know, once you've done the driver, always best to take the unit out properly um, by you know, using the taskbar saying get rid of that, put it back in again, it'll come up. Now before you connect the S8R, you need to press file. So you press file, uh, go back one, uh, firmware, SXR which is there something R. We're doing the S8R and we want the European because I'm in Europe. And let it flash. It says find device but it won't find device. So now we need to plug this in the S port. Um, remember to put it in the right way um, because otherwise you know it might just blow up. So I'm flipping between two things here or we might be doing a window but you'll see in there it's got an, a a an orange and a green light. It's not really because I've got loads of light, but trust me, it's in there. And as you can see on the screen, it says it's found the firmware. Now, I've already updated this, but it would say the, the firmware on there would be different but to, to um, the firmware. So let's just go back to the firmware. It does amuse me, actually, that um, if I just push this down, where's, my, where's, my, where's it gone? It's hiding from me. Here we go. It does amuse me that, uh, that, that oh, damn mouse. It does amuse me that Something on there doesn't really relate to anything that says there. And if we go back to the website, um, we'd we'll probably be able to go back one and back again to save um, and back again. And back again. 
I know you're thinking I should be on TV singing my heart out. Let's try back it. Oh no, look, that's when I was looking for FR Sky. Okay, anyway, let's get rid of that. I might cut that out. So, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense, but it just tells you that it's got up, it's upgraded. I'm sure there's something on there that me this. I mean, this says five one, and it says five. I don't know. So, anyway. After you've done that and you've connected it, you press file download. Now you see, it's got the flishy, flashy, flashy, flashy green lights, and it does nothing on there. <laughs> it is, it's the green, uh, hang on, sorry. Let's get that in shot. The, it can't, it, every now and then the green light flashy flashes, and, and it goes red and yellow, and you know it's doing something, basically. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep on chatting anyway. Um, because I need to uh, sync this up. No, I tell you what, let's pause it there, and I'm gonna kind of, we'll come back to it when it is 95% um, or something, because we'll be here all year. Okay, we're at 91.2%. Um, it does take a couple of minutes, um, but it, um, it soon flies by once it gets to the end. As you see, 96%, 97, 98, 99, contact. Okay, firmware is updated. Once the firmware is updated, as you can see, you've got a little green flashing light, which normally means it's ready to bind. So that's a good sign. So basically, um, we just end on the process there. Let's close the laptop, rip that out. Shouldn't do that, but hey, living on the edge. Right, okay, so that is our S-Port, S-Port Air Link. Really cool stuff. It's uh, it's not expensive, and as I say, you can do it at the field. So you can use this to configure your um, stabilization. That's what it's all about, because uh, this is a stabilization. So obviously, if you go a bit, um, a bit crazy and say, oh my God, you can flip a switch and it will write itself up. So you can use it to configure that. So if you need it tweaking, you can do it field without, um, uh, on your mobile app. Um, the mobile app, I'll just tell you that now, if I can find it on my phone, excuse me, is called, what's it called? It's called Free Link. There you go, FR Sky Free Link. You can't see it because it's all, it's kind of orange, so it's pretty pointless me showing it unless I can, you know, you can see FR Sky at the bottom there anyway. So yeah, it's a, <laughs> a Bluetooth, it hooks up by Bluetooth, and I believe that I've got any phone iPhone, whatever you like to call it, if phone, <laughs> and, uh, if only, and uh, Samsung do it as well. So, okay, so now we need to test it. So, um, I've got to see if my FR Sky is going to be okay. Uh, sorry, my transmitter is going to be okay on here, if you can see it. Um, you can see it, but you probably won't be able to, as it's mega, mega bright. Um, let me see if I can just turn the, uh, and he said heating then. Let me see if I can turn the, oh, that's no, the wrong way. Let's turn the lighting down a bit. Uh, can it spell it? It's not that great, is it? You can see it when it's right up there. <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. So yeah, basically I'm gonna be binding on here. So um, let's just put that back. Um, let's put that back here so we've got that there. So that's all I'm gonna be doing is binding. Now I've got my uh, battery and I've got my um, little ESC, that's my donor ESC. And what we'll do, we've got a little donor um, servo. So we'll stick it in uh, off camera. And I'll do that as well, so I'll see. I'm gonna stick it in the ailerons. How's about that? No, elevator. Stick it in the elevator. So, I'm just gonna go to my radio um, in my RS system. And I'm gonna change the RX number, just in case it is bound uh, once I plug it in. And I'm going to put it from normal state. This is different in OpenTX, but in the X10, you just press bind. And I want with tele one to eight. It doesn't go bleep, bleep, bleep like the other one. So what you have to do to put this in is get your super, super special tool, a pin, and basically make sure that this is gonna be the right way because we're gonna stick it in the throttle because it's off the ESC, so it can power up there. Push your button down and push it in there that will flash uh, just about see it that will flash 
uh, green and red, green and red, green and red, which means it has bound. So how are we going to see if it's bound? Okay, well in the radio first of all I need to come out of bind mode and go into normal mode. And then what I need to do is I need to depower this and then I need to power it back up again. And it should go blinky blinky blue and a bit of green at the background. And it, that should be it. Now it's saying static green, I'm bound. Yes sir. Now this is the funky thing because I have got this active and I've turned the switch off. If I turn the switch on, if you can, if you can see that, if I move this about, it's automatically trying to stabilize. I think it's that way, it's not that way, is it? It's that way, there we go. Up and there, yeah, it's because it's on the, what this is it? It's on the elevator, so it'll be, if I'm going up and down, it's it's trying to straighten me up, straighten me up, if that's the word. <laughs> straighten me up, hello? Straighten me up, so that's working, and of course I've got a switch on here. It doesn't work, I'm back to normal professional flying mode. Um, if you want Chris mode, <laughs> stick it on, you might be able to fly. So, there you go, and if I, if I, if I, if I do my um, elevators on the stick, as you can see, I will bring the stick in view. The stick in view. Oh, sorry, that way. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Ah, I know why. Because the uh, the um, is too close. There you go. I found that is actually as well. If you've got your transmitter and receiver too close, it doesn't like it. So that's another thing. If you can't bind it properly, move it away. So if I move move it away, my transmitter because they're very strong things, you know. I'm sure that uh, you know you'll come out glowing one day, but there you go. So that's that is bound. So basically, we put the updated software. Let's put it the right way around. We've got the updated software, firmware, should I say, software? What's the Software, firmware. We have, and it's exactly the same with the S6R. Now, if it's flashing red after you've done all that, you haven't bound it. Flash it with the FCC firmware that I showed you because it might be that your radio is kicking out non-European as mine was when it was an open TX but I do believe that was a little um, little tick box that I forgot to tick because I was so excited it was going on there that uh, you know yes but when I put FCC firmware on here it was doing exactly what it was doing now um, it bound and it was working and the, the stabilization was working uh, you know that stabilization is working because it flickers yellow um, Another video about setting this up, so um, you can put it in, I will, in fact I need to make it actually, um, but I'll make it with another one after I've built the plane, um, because I'm going to be using stabilisation in the Cobra 2, basically because it goes over 100 mile an hour, whatever that is in um, across the pond, I don't know, but it's still fast, um, I think it's kilometres isn't it, in, no, if I think a mile an hour is still in the pond, isn't it, over the pond, I don't know. What do you use in America? Is it kilometers or is it miles per hour? I know in France they use kilometers, but I use um, mile an hour because I'm an old fart. It's like I do use millimeters, but then I like inches and, and eighths and sixteenths because that's what I was brought up doing. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and uh, get my mug shot in the uh, shot of the camera just to say um, our final thoughts. Okay. So that is the S8R and it's exactly the same as the X6R. I'm hoping that uh, you've been able to see what I've been doing on the computer because it was my first time using the screen capture on that computer. Um, I normally use it on my Mac, but I don't use uh, OpenTX or FI Sky stuff on Mac. I don't think it works on there, to be honest. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, if it does, leave a comment. Um, about comments, more subscribers running to the door to um, running to the door, my tea today, running to the door to have a laugh with me or to learn with me, um, which is fantastic. Um, uh, uh, a big shout out to Paul, who watches all my videos. Thank you, Paul. Um, and thank you, everyone else. I really appreciate you doing that subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, just press the button. Don't have to press the bell, just press the button. Um, so I know that uh, people are, I'm helping people, which some people do get back to me. Um, I'm in the middle of making my website, so you can leave more um, nasty comments. <laughs> <laughs> not nasty comments most of you are pretty good um, but leave some comments um, you know to maybe you want to see something that uh, that uh, you're not too sure about um, and I've done or I've got in the hangout before you buy that's the whole thing about this is the good thing about these videos which I watch loads of videos is um, do you want that plane is it what's it like to be built is it a load of crap does it look good does it feel good does it fly good this was a good thing about YouTube is it's almost try before you buy so um, unfortunately you've got a bit of a noob like me that does all the try but fly and as I say you know this year is my year 
I know it is, I can feel it in my waters. No, I want to go to the toilet. So on that note, <laughs> keep safe, have fun, and keep flying. See you later now. Bye-bye.